Cornerback was a position of need for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings coming into the offseason, and they fortified the position even further after the draft by uh, claiming cornerback John Reed off of waivers. He was recently let go from the Falcons, so let's talk about the Vikings' new slot cornerback today. Background, 26 years young, 5'10 and 3'8". Ace. The 3 ace, very important. Hmm. 187 pounds, a former four-star recruit from Philadelphia. Don't hold that against him. Uh, but stayed in the Keystone State. Uh, was a four-year starter and high-level tr- contributor at We Are Penn State. Uh, career 125 tackles, seven interceptions, 26 passes broken up. Thrice All-Big Ten honorable mention. Also, he majored in electrical engineering and computer science. So a little bit smarter than the rest of us. <laughs> so there, there you go. Plus, I- I've always said... Slot cornerback is, besides quarterback, is probably the toughest position to play because not only do you have to deal with some of the most dynamic athletes on earth, you have to defend both directions. Actually, all, all three directions. It's tough. So you got to be very cerebral, and you got to know what you're doing uh, in, in the slots. Really tough role. Uh, and then uh, combine tested well, 4 4 nine, 40, uh, Great in the jumps and agility as well. 8 4, four ras uh, even though he was undersized, so that's even more impressive. Uh, Lance Zerline's NFL.com draft profile from back in 2020. Back in the day. Uh, draft projection, sixth round. Uh, NFL comparison, Grant Haley. Overview, competitive press nickel. Hmm. Two words I really like. Actually, three words. Competitive, press, and nickel. Uh, who uses uh, mirror quickness and controlled handwork to make press release uncomfortable for receivers. Reads body control and balance. Allow him to play a stickier brand of coverage underneath, but that coverage will fade as routes progress. He can be mismatched with big speed or big size and doesn't feature the physical profile of a capable run support defender. Reads passion, competitiveness, and football IQ are fun to watch, but physical limitations, uh, co- limitations uh, could cap his ceiling and end up being a fourth round pick uh, by the Texans in 2020 then bounce around a league a little bit uh, spent two years with the Seahawks and then 2022 uh, bounced around from Seattle to the Falcons to the Titans uh, played 315 career defensive snaps 30 career tackles three passes broken up uh, went back to the Falcons uh, earlier this offseason on a futures deal uh, and then was waived after the draft after Atlanta. Well, they traded for Jeff Akuda and also they drafted Clark Phillips the third, one of my favorite cornerbacks uh, in this draft coming out, out of Utah. And for the Vikings, I mean, John Reed is probably going to be fitting into the slot. And I really like how the Vikings attack the slot issue uh, this offseason where, I mean, last year, Sean on Sullivan coming over from the Packers. He was the slot guy from day one. Uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't ideal. And before that, it was Mac Alexander for the second time. So the Vikings, it's been a long time since they've had a uh, competency at the slot cornerback position. Probably Terrence Newman when he was kicking in there. But they signed Byron Murphy Jr. Uh, they brought in a John Reed. Uh, they, they drafted Makai Blackman, who has a lot of traits that, that can uh, yeah, that, that can project to the slot. Also, he played a lot of slot his final year at Colorado before transferring to USC, uh, as well as Cameron Bynum. If the safety experiment doesn't work out, kicking him into the slot could make sense. Jay Ward has played a lot of slot as a big nickel, a third safety. So the Vikings, they really went after him. So not only did they replace uh, Sean Nan Sullivan with five guys who could competently play the slot a cornerback position, especially Byron Murphy. So I, I like the, the way that they went about it. And John Reed, like, is he a, an underdog to make the roster at this point? Yes, because you know, Murphy, Evans, Booth, Blackman, Jawan Williams, like maybe Jawan Williams, uh, John Reed, Tay Gowan, Kalan Barnes are all going to be competing for that fifth cornerback spot with uh, the UDFAs, probably. Uh, probably go in that direction, but you never know. Like He plays a specialized position that the Vikings are still searching for answers for, and he's very highly cerebral, uh, very highly coachable, and he is adept at press man from the slot. So, I mean, all that adds up to someone that Brian Flores is going to like, so uh, who knows what's going to happen with John Reed going forward. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings claim cornerback John Reed off of waivers from the Falcons. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>